Well, 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 everybody, welcome back to the West Ham Network. Anton here bringing you another one of our fantastic shows as per usual. Now, we all know about the, the story that's been going viral all over West Ham for the past couple of days. And it's the fact that, as you can see going along the bottom there, Somerville could be and is on his way to West Ham. A medical today, we're just expecting probably announcement over the next couple of hours. You'll see all the stuff going along the bottom there, so you can have a look at that. We've probably gone over that with you so many times. But like we do when we do sign a new player or we play an opposition team, we like to bring on someone from that opposition team to give you a bit of an insight in, as to what they can bring. We very... Uh, we're very aware of the sensitivity around um, some players leaving clubs who are and, and you know could be fan favourites, etc. So, um, but we do like to give the opportunity for them to come on and maybe let West Ham fans know what to expect. But this one's a little bit different because it's a good friend of the channel. It's someone that's been around for uh, with, with the West Ham network for a couple of years now um, and very well known. And you've probably seen up there. It's um, someone from Football Prizes. So without further ado, I may as well get cracking on and we'll bring Jack Durkin on from uh, Football Prizes. But I need to actually bring him onto the stream. There you go. How you doing, Jack? <laughs> All right, mate? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very good, mate. I'm very good. It, it, it hurt, I'll be honest, to listen to the intro that you've just said there about Somerville. But also, what a fantastic intro for me and Football Prizes. So you've absolutely smashed out of the park, Anton, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, to discuss a little bit about this new player that's coming your way, as much as I hate to admit that. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, thanks for having me on, mate. This is exciting. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, and I'm happy you're on as well. So, Jack, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Jack's the contact we have at Football Prizes. has been fantastic for all of our um, viewers that have entered the competitions and that have won some of the competitions through Football Prizes. So, um, we're happy to announce we'll be joining up forces again for next season. Um, and whenever you do, get a chance, log on to the website and get cracking on entering the competitions because they are fantastic and great opportunities to get your hands on some really cool memorabilia. So, please do that. But... On top of that, Jack is a massive Leeds United fan. For my sins, for my sins. Yeah, absolutely for my sins. <laughs> <laughs> and he sent me a rather abusive message this morning. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe not so abusive, but it was um, it was a heartfelt message, um, and it just gave me an idea. Like, let's, let's let's bring you on. Like, so, Jack, mate, introduce yourself, and then we'll get cracking on you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, you've you've done the intro for me, Anton. Yeah, Jack from Football Prizes, as Anton says, massive Leeds fans. Um, one thing I'll say about the Football Prizes sort of um, members of staff is we're all very fond of Leeds. We're based in Leeds. Um, a lot of the guys in the office support Leeds, so uh, Leeds is very much a hot topic, especially at this current moment with Somerville on his way out the door. Um, yeah, Anton, I, I just want to give you a sort of a, a little bit of a, a brown nose, to be honest, mate, because you've absolutely smashed it since we've worked with you. Um, you, the, you like you just said there, the prizes that we have to offer are are really amazing in terms of people can win memorabilia that you never get the chance to tickets to games loads and loads of stuff I went on a, a private jet to England versus Slovenia with members of the football prizes community that won a trip there that was amazing so um, yeah it, it's a pleasure to be here mate I'm happy to um, like, like I say discuss a bit about Somerville talk about what he's going to bring to you boys but at the same time the message I did send to you which was one of I don't want to work with anymore because you're stealing our best player um, <laughs> is, is very much at the forefront of my mind yeah but listen what a signing you're getting if uh, if the medical goes through well talk to me about him then so he's obviously 22 years old um he's at the right side of he's at the right age the right kind of um profile as to what many clubs will be looking at he's got premier league experience um but what are leads losing a lot in a nutshell a lot uh, we're losing goals we're losing assists we're losing that attacking threat down the wing and, and our, our loss is obviously your game mate I've seen on, on Twitter already uh, your potential front three next season of Kudus Somerville and Bowen which could 
to be absolutely frightening on the break. Um, so yeah, he, as as people know that seen some of the leads, he's very much sort of a, a bit of a flair player. Um, he likes to get at defenders, run past people. He's very quick, very direct. He has got that final product. And like you say, he's 22. So he's only going to get better. And you're signing him at a very, very good time in that the fact that he's already learned his trade. He's been in the championship, which is a tough, tough league, as we all know. He won championship player of the season. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's a joke, mate. He's an absolute, stale uh, steal for the 25 million that you're, you're taking him for I know there's probably some add-ons on there as well which obviously Leeds fans aren't too happy with uh, I'm sure you've seen that but you're uh, yeah you're in for a treat I'll, I'll sing his praises to the to, sort of to the high hills because hopefully he takes what he's done at, at Leeds what he's learned um and and takes it straight down to London with him and, and is an absolute hot property for you boys I was just going to say, you know, you mentioned there the financials. I've got the financials. What we're led to believe that they are running along the bottom of the screen there. So, mm. um, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff online and, and Leeds fans aren't happy because they feel like, you know, you're what you're losing compared to what you're gaining. And we're all aware in the world of, of football that, you know, sometimes money, 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 money does talk, but money can't guarantee yeah. you results. And then most people would prefer the player or to make the most of their asset, i.e. get as much money as they possibly can. So uh, have West Ham got a steal of a deal? Absolutely. I think I think even with the add-ons, I think so. 34 million with, with the add-ons, I think it's something to do with if he has more international caps as well, I've seen. Um, so it is an upfront fee of what looks to be 25 or 24, and then obviously you've got the add-ons whenever that happens. So for an upfront fee of that is ridiculous, mate. We we got rid of Archie Gray earlier in the summer for financial reasons that helped us massively. And then some of it, we were, the Leeds fans were told that some of it wasn't going to go anywhere unless it was for a lot of money. Um, I'm sure Brighton came in and offered 35 million um, and we turned that down. So for some reason, we've now accepted this bid. It's probably case of Somerville as well. I think he had I seen on Twitter again that he had a meeting with Lopetegui um, and he loved him. So that's all fair. Uh, you can't blame him. He's 22 years old. He's obviously going to join a, a fantastic club. So um, it, yeah, it's very much um, a steal for, for you boys, 100% at, at such a low price that, you know, you're getting, like I say, a tried and tested winger at 22 years old. Uh, you don't really come across that very often. Uh, no. He's been in the Premier League and he, and he did it for Premier, the Premier League. league. Yeah, he yeah, and, and that he was even younger. So he's had a season in the championship, which is probably, I think, a tougher league in terms of the competitiveness, in terms of where you go into, the amount of games, et cetera, et cetera. The championship's one of the best leagues in the world. I know it's obviously second division of English football, but everybody knows in England how competitive that league is. And he did it there. He did it in the Premier League. He defeated Van Dyke's record at Anfield of never losing the game and Somerville in the 92nd minute under Jesse Marsh scored that goal. So, um, yeah. He's tried, tested, he's 22 and you're getting him for 25 million. I mean, it's like I say, happy days for you. A bad bit of business for Leeds. Hopefully all them add-ons come in and we do get 35 million and we invest it properly um, because trying to trying to replace him is, is going to be a tough, tough tack, mate. I can see, I mean, you know, West Ham over the years have purchased a couple of players from the Championship and this is not because we understand where Leeds are at. You know, he just missed out on coming back up to the Premier League and how things could be so different if that had happened. Um, but there was a couple of players, and I think what makes difference people are compared. People haven't compared, but some West Ham fans have gone. What's the difference between, say, Somerville and Ben Rama, for example? But the mm -hmm. difference between West Ham looking at someone like Ben Rama was there was no Premier League provenness, um, and as much as Ben Rama's stats on paper looked really good, we as West Ham fans know where he struggled in his game, and we think from the knowledge of looking at Somerville, you know, we don't watch him week in and week out like you do, Jack, but we see him when he plays West Ham. We see him sometimes in the highlight videos or when there's an odd game on the telly and we think, my word, this guy can take on players. He's got the pace. He can get in behind people. Um, you know, what is his real attributes? And, and, we, and we're, West Ham have been looking for a left winger as such and we know he can play left wing, but it looks like he can play kind of left or right. Like you can fluctuate between the two and yeah, what, what's, his, what's his best attributes? His best actually is running at you, mate. I'll be honest with you. If I was a fullback, I, I play semi pro football myself I'm, and I'm a centre half. And thank God I'm not a fullback. But if I was playing fullback and some of it was running at me, I'd absolutely cack myself. I'll be honest with you, Anton. Uh, Anton, it, he's, he's frightening. His pace on the counter attack, the way he moves, the, it, it's the way he manoeuvres the ball when he's running. It's it's so natural and his low centre of gravity helps him with that. Um, and then obviously you've got his pace, you've got his trickiness. He's, he's yeah, he's frightening for a defender. Um, and you, you touched on Ben Rama there. I think Leeds before Somerville sort of 
came into the first team training and things like that. When Ben Arm was at Brentford, we were sort of linked with him. Um, and we ended up not going with him. Also, you boys signed him. And and maybe that was a case of because Somerville was in the pipeline and they knew about him. We signed him for a million quid, I think, from a, a Dutch team. I can't remember what the Dutch team was. Um, know, but was it? Oh, was no, it? Was I think it, it might... It, I can't, I can't remember. I think it was like a lower, uh, was it a ODO, ADO Heng Den or Hag, something, something like that? Or yeah, or something. it might be yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we signed him for that in, on the idea that he was going to go on and be this this thing. And, and he has done that. Um, and obviously the investment in terms of a million quid to what we've now got for him is fantastic. But in the market at the moment, how much players are going for, it, like you touch on, it has really helped that we're a championship club again this year. If it had been a Premier League, if we'd have been a Premier League side this year, I doubt he would have gone. He'd also been a lot more money. Um, but yeah, he's, in terms of, back to your original question, mate, his attributes, he's, 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 he's an exciting player. He's someone that you're a bit like Kudus, a bit like Kudus, probably not as quick as Kudus because Kudus is absolutely lightning, um, but a bit, probably a little bit trickier than Kudus in terms of he, you, you touched on the fact that he can play left, right. He can also play in the 10. He's very, he could, he could do a job in the 10 if he needed to in terms of being that sort of playmaker role. And then also, like I say, delivering goals, getting at defenders. So like I say, mate, I'm, I'm singing his praises and <laughs> watch it come now where he, he plays for you boys. He's terrible. I really hope that's no, but the thing, no, but no, but the thing is though, like we, 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 we try and do this every time we sign a player, you know, and, and I'm very aware there's sensitivity around it we had to go through this whole process when Declan Rice left West Ham had to go on Arsenal channels and speak to them and tell them what they were getting and, and, and at the time most of them were like nah 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 he's not as good as you're saying it and now look at them all like they're all going oh my god he's he's unbelievable etc etc but it's a it's a really key area for West Ham we've really needed to address this area for such a long time and I think West Ham fans are excited I think when they hear the way that the Leeds fans have reacted they'll be selfishly even more excited when they listen yeah. to a video like this. I think selfishly they'll be even more excited about the Somerville inclusion. You know, he seems to be fit. He seems to be ready to rock and roll. He's hopefully touch wood for us. He passes his medical and then he flies out to America, to the States and, and links up with the players. And you yes. you touched on it there, Jack. You touched on it there. Because obviously with doing the job you do and, and being in the world of football and understanding football you do, you understand West Ham's attacking force is relentless. You know, I think we scored some crazy amount of goals last year. Our biggest issue was defensively. But you add Somerville to that. You, you know, you feel like you're adding a lot of goal attributes and goal contributions throughout the year. It doesn't feel like you're, you're buying him for the sake of buying him. You, yeah. It feels like you've thought about it. You've gone, you've done it the right way. You've obviously had the right conversations as I, as I touched on with the management. So it's not a case of, it's not a panic buy. It's not someone where you're thinking, Shh, we need a we need a tried and tested winger. We need someone that's a bit older, a bit more proven, but he also could come with a bit of a risk. I feel like Somerville, even if he, even if he doesn't hit the ground running, like we mentioned, he's 22. He's 22 years old. Uh, he's got the world at his feet in terms of how how long he's got in the game, how much more he can improve. If he's got the right coaching staff at, with him at West Ham when he moves, then it, even more so. It's yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting move for you boys, but it's also probably an exciting move for him in terms of where he can go with his career. A uh, random story, mate, which I'm sure your viewers will absolutely love. I went on a night out with Somerville um, and he was an absolute legend. Um, I went out on a, a night out with Somerville and Nonto, bumped into him in Leeds and they're similar age to me and my mate and we ended up staying with them the whole night. Um, and he was a lovely, lovely geezer. Humble. Spoke to him really polite humble um i think one of the one of my mates offered him a snus do you know what a snus is the things that yeah, they yeah, the, the Scandinavian. yeah yeah they offered him a snus and he politely turned it down so that's yeah. a that's a good thing as well um but yeah he's he's quite clearly very humble his head screwed on he wants to be good he wants to succeed yeah. um and 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 like i say it's probably as much as it pains me to say as much as it hurts me because he was so important to us and he's great to watch and he's exciting it's a great move for him it's a great move for you he's back in the Premier League he's moving to London exciting city um, yeah it, it, it makes sense it's just the only thing I think for Leeds fans is the fee is the only issue but how we reinvest it what we do with the money the it, it remains to be seen yeah exactly yeah. exactly that mate. yeah and it's going to be a big it's going to be a big adjustment for West Ham because it's the first time in four years now we've not qualified for Europe which you know in my oh, lifetime sure. for my lifetime seeing that is a, is a bit of a it's a tough pill to 
to swallow, to be honest, because I never expected the consistency in European football. But what West Ham are going to have to do is manage expectations of players because we're not just looks like we're not finished with Somerville. It looks like we're going to be going in the market for a few more other players, and there's not going to be as many games to be able to share the game time around. However, Lopetegui does utilize a squad more than what David Moyes does, but Somerville looks like he's going to be one that's going to be straight into that team and adding value going forwards. And yeah, any fullback looking at him will be frightened to 100%. And yeah, so Jack, mate, you've made me over the moon excited, buzzing about the signing. And again, sensitively apologize for West Ham taking your player. No, you and over don't. the years, well, I tell you what, mate, I tell you what, I tell you what, you took Real Ferdinand off us for 18 million quid back in those days. Uh, sure. And, um, and, and then, and, yeah, but then Scum took him off us. So, quite clearly. <laughs> I tell you what, though, um, that, that's the one, that's the deal I always bring up. Um, with, with whenever people talk about having a good player or investing money because we got 18 million pounds and we bought a player called Hayden Fox that's famous for not playing football at West Ham. He's famous for doing some naughty stuff on a night out. Um, we bought Rigobert Song from the Cameroon International. He ended up being it's a great awful. name. And then we bought Titi Kamara from Liverpool, who was an absolute disaster. So we took that £18 million, pounds, the best player, and we have invested it into crap. So let's hope you I'll don't do say, I'll, be honest. I'll be honest, I've never heard of any of them. So that, <laughs> that seems up. And it was probably, probably a little before my time. I was probably yeah. just sort of coming up into football. But I still remember footballers from that era, and those three footballers definitely, <laughs> definitely don't ring a bell, Anton. So yeah, fingers yeah. crossed we, uh, we don't sign. And trust me, we've had our fair share of absolute honkers as well. I mean, you, you'll probably heard of the Jean-Philippe Augustin uh, transfer saga from Leipzig where we ended up losing loads of money on him because of him playing a certain amount of minutes. So listen, you're right. Hopefully we sort of invest it well and, and we're back in the Premier League next season facing Somerville at Ellen Road. <laughs> Hopefully, mate, because it's closer for me to get to a game as well. Listen, back from Football Prizes, if you haven't already, go and check out Football Prizes. They've got a YouTube. I'll put them in the description. I'll also put them in the, the, um, the opening title, so make sure you go across there. Check Legend, out. Mate. You're on TikTok and everything as well. Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Next season, lots of prizes coming your way, so make sure you do get involved. Jack, thank you so much for your time, mate. Uh, any final words you want to say More to West Ham fans? Um, good luck. Look after him. Somerville, you're always welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. <laughs>